Oh, well, a hard-headed woman. Hello, everybody. It's me, DB, and welcome to another awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Pack opening. Today, we have a couple of old-school packs from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. We have the Storm of Ragnarok. I got three first edition packs of that. And I got a couple Duelist Revolution Special Editions. Uh, now, before I go opening these up, I just want to let you guys know that with these sets, you are not guaranteed a hollow in every set. That would come, that wouldn't come until way, way later after these sets uh, originally released. Uh, and uh, with the Duelist Revolution Special Edition, you only get one hollow, special edition uh, hollow, like one promo out of two. You guys can see the back, and if you can read that, you can pause the video and read it if you want. And you get uh, either Drill Warrior or Gold Sarcophagus. So, I'm um, having it out here. Let's pop it open. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. And, uh, please make sure to leave a comment telling me what your favorite card was from the opening today. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to also check out my social media sites in the description down below. Alright, so I'm just going to open these up. I'll leave the uh, promo card uh, flat down for now. Out to the side. Get rid of that. And we'll pop open the next one. Alright, and uh... I thought these were pretty cool. I found these at my local flea, mar flea market today. They had all sorts of stuff like antiques and shirts and good goods. Especially if you're in the antiques, those are places for you, where you need to go. Alright, so we're all set. Let me show you the uh, two promo cards. I'm gonna. Oh, I got both of them. Nice. You guys can see that. May need to uh, change my battery in the middle of this recording, so just a heads up. We're going to start with the Duelist Revolution pack. We still might have some good, uh, pretty playable cards here, too. And I'm not going to take a sniff out of these. Uh, as you can see, though, they are uh, kind of curved, kind of warped over. Alright, we start with off with Naturia Mosquito, followed by Beast Rising, Amazon the Sage, Flameville Pound, the rare is a DD Unicorn Knight, and no foil this time, but it's a Light of Destruction, I'll set the foils up aside. Genix Power Planner. The old school Genix set. Genix cards here. Bicorn Rium. And Anti Magic Prism. So, like I said before, folks, you're not guaranteed a ho hollow foil in these uh, packs. So, for every pack, uh, just like you are for the packs now. Alright. We have a Howl of the Wild. Another Mosquito. Another Sage. Final Psychic Ogre. The Rare is a Reanimation Wave. And we have another Power Planner. Followed by a Cherry of Forest. Cursed Armaments. Anti-Magic Prism. And finally, I think that's it. <laughs> and finally, I think that's it, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here we go with an Amazonist Fighting Spirit. Mind Mole. 
the flower for nose there. Watt cannon. We have scrap goblin. Well, the scrap cards, uh, I think they were pretty popular deck back in the day. The rare is a scrap hunter. And no foil out of this special edition, I'm afraid. Rhino Taurus, Nacheria Forest, and a Watt Pheasant, and a Flameville Fiend. Alright, we'll see what the next one has. And by the way, there's no card trick to this, too. So it's a Earthquake Giant. Followed by Double Cyclone. That was a, that was a pretty decent card uh, way back in the day. It's kind of the, the Twin Twisters before Twin Twisters. Uh, except you have to destroy uh, two Speller Trap cards your opponent controls along with two Speller Trap cards you control. We have Stronghold Guardian. The card you say you want to use in the series. Uh, Damage Eater. Our rare this time is another reanimation wave. But no foil here, too. Watt Beta. Scrap Rage. And a Unihorn from Unihorn Familiar. And finally, Elfun. Elephant with uh, wings for ears. You have to be tricky though with design for that card. Uh, because we all know about one elephant that has, uh, has those type of ears. That will be Dumbo. I like Dumbo. My favorite song though was When I See an Elephant Fly. That's an awesome song. Desperate Tag. I think it's still a useful card today. What what sign? Flameville Archer. Damage Eater. The rare is a scrap beast. And no foil here. Amazon is trainee. Blind spot strike. Rhino Taurus, and finally, AD Changer, your battery, your battery card. Let's see you to run those battery man decks. Uh, okay. There we go. Sorry, I whacked the camera. Looks like we might have some here. Watt Cannon. Mind Mole. Mi Miracle Synchro Fusion. A uh, fusion card, uh, looks like. And we do have a foil here. Scrap Storm. I don't know if it was a useful foil, but still, better than anything, a para parallel selection as our rare. We have the Fiend, Queen's Pawn, and Amazonist Trainee. Followed by Battle Instinct. I think that's it for the Duelist Revolution pack. So we only got one foil, and that's the Scrap Storm. So let's start off now with the Storm of Ragnarok. I do want to build a Nordic God deck uh, for real, too. I got one on the Dueling Book. Uh, dueling Book name is Elvis Beck, if you want to uh, friend me there. Alright. Black Boost, uh, one of the Black Wing cards, I believe. Yes. Uh, Legendary Six Samurai cards of uh, Mizuho. Hourglass of Courage. 
There's a top runner. A rare is Nordic Relic uh, Gun Year. Well, the Nordic Relic cards are for the Nordic Odd Deck. Majo Shalion. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Resignator Engine. Kage Musa, the Six Samurai. Old school Six Samurai cards. And Zero Force, another card used in the anime. Alright, next pack. It doesn't want to open. Oh, there we go. Something here. Uh, Garmer of the Nordic Beasts. Uh, Token Sunday. Blackwing. Uh, this is the Blackwing Brazil. The Tailwind. Oh, nice. An ultra rare. Karakuri Muso Model 818 Hyper. Old school ultra rare. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's a good card, but I'll take it. Shein Smoke Signal, Tinky Curse, uh, Karakuri Wachong, number model 313, size N, Divine Wind of Mist Valley, for wind monsters, uh, and Needle Ball. Last pack, uh, see if we can pull something awesome. A Tiki Soul. Goddard Dumbarong. Terminal World. No, oh, yes, we did actually pull something good. This is uh, Valkyrie of the Nordic Ascendants. This is a very good card in the Nordic decks. Uh, what you can do is that this is the only card. What you can do is that uh, once you summon this card, if uh, your opponent has monsters and you don't, you can remove from play two Nordic monsters from your hand to special summon two uh, tokens, which can, you can then use uh, to synchro summon into uh, one of the Nordic God monsters. Uh, I've used this effect on a dueling book uh, to special summon into Odin. So I think that's a pretty cool card, uh, very useful in the Nordic deck. Now, rare is a Stardust Phantom. Resignator Engine. Nordic Relic. Uh, Resingaman. I think that's how I pronounce it. Kagimusha, the Six Samurai. And finally, another Needle Ball. And a Tiki Soul, just in case uh, I didn't mention that. Alright, so we ended up with uh, three Hollow Foils. Uh, so, about a third of the packs, I would say. So, not too bad. We got uh, two Super Rares. One from the Duelist Revolution Special Editions. That's Scrap Storm. And two foils from the uh, Storm of Ragnarok. Uh, Valkyrie of the Nordic Ascendant. And the Ultra Rare Karakuri Musel Model 818 Hyper. So, I want to thank you guys uh, for joining me today. If you, uh, once again, if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment letting me know what your favorite card was from this opening. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Uh, I'm hoping to get more and more subscribers each and every day. That'd be awesome. And thanks for watching. I'm DB. I'll catch y'all next time. See ya later.